So I slap you. There's only, there's only, well, there's three people in the car. There's a little baby in the back seat. Is that your baby? Yes? Yes or no? Can you speak? Yes. Okay, this is where we gotta talk to each other, okay? I pull you out of the vehicle, uh -huh. okay? I've never seen you walk before. Yes. But your balance seems impaired to me. Okay. Okay. That odor of an alcoholic beverage? Yes. Still exists from your, from your breath. Okay. How much did you drink today? I had a drink. Okay. 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 Who was that guy in that white Camaro or white Corvette? I don't know. You have no idea? No. You have no idea who that is? Or you, or you, or you just want to tell me? Okay. I think you know. It's, it's fine. A drunk married woman is stopped for driving with no headlights on. A one-year-old baby in the car and driving around with a complete stranger. From what the stranger is saying, it appears the drunk lady is cheating on her husband with him. Okay, so okay, so who are you to her? We honestly just met a couple hours ago. We're okay. just messing around with each other. She, okay. she has a dog in yeah, I, I know. As they are also smoking marijuana in the car with the baby right there. Find out what happens, as this is one of those episodes where you just have to see it to believe it. Here at Sound of the Police. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, let me see your driver's restriction insurance. Let me get it. Sure. Who's that, who's that guy in that white Corvette? What? Who's that guy in the white Corvette that was, that was following you guys? I don't know. No idea? White a white Corvette? No, sir. No idea? No. Okay. Wait, there's a white Corvette following us? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably them calling you saying, hey. No. This is my, my baby mother. What's that? This is how my baby mother is. wallet down there? Is, is your wallet black? No. Okay. That's not baby. Is it back there? Or just a pain in the head? Maybe. No? You don't have it with you? No. I have it. It's just white and gray. Okay. My insurance is on my phone. Okay. To bring, your, to bring your phone out here so we can see your insurance and then I yeah, get your stuff. Come on out. Yeah. Ma'am? Yes. No, no. I said, I said, uh, come on out. Ma'am, did you come on out with your phone? Come with me. Sit right there. Hey, passion, just hang tight, okay? Stand right here. Stand right there for my car. Don't lean on it, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up right there. Stay right there. Ma'am, come over here. Stay right here. Come over here. Stay right here. And face me. Put, put your, put your foot down right there. Put your, right there's fine. Any, any idea why I'm stopping you? No idea? Because no. you're driving you you're driving down interstate I forty eastbound with no lights on, on your car. No lights? No lights. Okay. No tail lights or headlights. Okay. Okay. Who was that guy in that white Camaro or white Corvette? I don't know. You have no idea? No. Okay, because they're on you pretty good. I and actually think they're trying to flash you. And then they're trying to drive crazy, so I wouldn't go after you. You have no idea who that is. Or you or you or I usually want to tell me. Okay, I think you know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe uh, he or she will come back here and we can have a talk here. Okay, so th that's why I'm stopping you. Okay, so I slap you. There's only, there's only, well, there's three people in the car. There's a little baby in the back seat. Is that your baby? Yes? Yes or no? Can you speak? Yes. Okay, this is where we got to talk to each other, okay? So there's a baby in the back of the car. There's a male passenger. And then there's you. There's also a strong odor of not beverage emitting from... You two in the car, because I doubt, because I doubt it's the baby. There's what? A strong odor of knockout beverage. Okay. As well as marijuana. Marijuana? As well as marijuana. Oh, okay. no. Okay. Oh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I smell. I don't smoke. You gotcha. Well, maybe that guy does. Okay. So, so, which is obviously it's, it's, it's legal. Okay, if he's smoking, it's legal. Okay. I pull you out of the vehicle. Uh -huh. Okay. I've never seen you walk before. Yes. But your balance seems impaired to me. Okay. Okay. That odor of alcoholic beverage. Yes. Still exists from your from your breath. Okay. How much did you drink today? I had a drink. Okay. Just one drink. Just one. When did you have that one drink? A lot early, earlier. Yeah. I'm ten four. Who's the RO of the vehicle? That's my car. Okay. Okay. So you had one drink when? A while ago. Go. Okay, what's a while? Like an hour. Okay. Well, what time do you think it is right now? Like twelve. Okay. So you had one. Hour, so you had one drink at eleven ish. Yes. What, what kind of drink was that? Patron. Ten four. I'll be ten six fills with her. I'm ten four. Patron? Yes. One shot of Patron. Okay. Do you put your heels, I'm going to check your eyes real quick. Put your heels and toes together. Hands out your sides. Your glasses, just put them, put them on top of your head real quick. Perfect. And any, any, any major head injury? No, I had some teeth. My, my teeth were really infected and I got an abscess. When, when was this abscess? This abscess was like yesterday. Yesterday? I went, I went to the dentist. Okay. Yeah. And do you give any kind of pills? Yes. Just for, like, for what? For pain medication. Yeah, just for pain? Yes. Okay. Hands your sides. Other, other than that, do you have any kind of traumatic traumatic brain injury? No. Okay. See my finger? Yes. Up. Don't, don't hang on to my car for balance. See? Okay. okay. And do you normally sway? No. Okay. Why are you swaying tonight? I'm swaying? Yeah, because you actually hang on to my car for balance. I don't know. Okay. okay. You don't you don't you don't feel yourself swaying? No. Okay. See my finger? Yes. Follow my fingertip with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Okay. My hands can move from your left to your right. Just fall the whole time. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. Go, go, go put your glasses on. Okay, ma'am. Two more two more quick tests and we'll, and we will possibly get you on your way. Okay. Do you have do you have shoes? My friend took my shoes earlier because she got in a fight with her friend, her boyfriend, and I let her take my shoes. Okay, so you don't have shoes in the car? I don't. Okay. Well, luckily luckily for you, the surface is pretty... Okay. It should be free of any uh, anything okay. bad. Could you very stand right here on my light? Yes. And fix your car, okay? Put your heels and toes together. Is there your sides? Any problems walking, balancing, or turning? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. What do we do for a living? I work at a mental health hospital. Okay, so you're on your feet all day? Yes. Okay. Do you a favor. What I want you to do is imagine a straight line from your left foot straight, to, straight towards my right foot. Left to right? Imagine a straight line. Okay. Can you imagine a straight line? Yes. Okay, the line with the width of your foot, which is about uh, five, five inches wide, roughly. Okay? okay? Do you a favor. On that imaginary line, place your left foot just like this. Okay? Now place your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe like I'm doing. Hands on your sides. And do not move until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes. And man, for that position, when I tell you to begin, and only when I tell you to begin, you would take a series of nine heel toe steps down that line. Watch me, don't start, just like this. One, two, three. I took three, you will take nine. Okay. Once you take nine steps, you would keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring around like this, take a series of small steps, turning all the way around. And now you'd be facing my police car. Okay. Ma'am, did you understand the turning process? I think so. You think so? I think so. Do, do you want me to show it to you again? Yes. Okay, stay like that. Okay, no, no, get back in the position. Okay, on your, on your nice step, you'll end up like this. Keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring it around like this, taking a series of small steps, turning your butt, no, don't start yet. Nope. Right foot in front of left, and stay like that. Okay, don't move. Okay, now did you understand the turning process? I think so. Okay, what part don't you understand? I get it. Are you sure? Okay, after you turn like I showed you, yes. you'll take nine more heel toe steps down that same line, just like this. One, two, three, back down to number nine. Okay. Ma'am, during this test, keep your hand directly, directly at your sides. I can't. Okay. Right foot in front of left. Okay, ma'am, during the test, keep your hand directly at your sides. Look down at your feet while you count and count out loud so I can hear you. Okay. Also, once you start this test, don't stop it until you've completed it. Wait, do I have to do this? You don't have to, it's totally up to you. Okay. 
I just said we have to do, I, I just told you that we have to do two more quick tests. I feel and like it's hard even for me if I, like in general, okay. Right foot in front, left, okay. Also don't forget to touch heel toe, no, that's one. Heel toe. Was that nine? How many, how many was that? That was eight. That was eight, okay. So then do nine back this way. Okay, stand right there on my light. Turn and face me. Put your heel and toes together, because they're your sides. Next test called the one leg stand. Okay, when I tell you to begin, what I want you to do is raise the leg of your choice, either your left leg or your right leg, approximately six inches parallel with the ground. Do you know what the word parallel means? Straight with the ground. Correct. Do you know roughly how tall six inches is? No. Says so a Coke can, roughly? Okay. Okay, watch me, don't start yet. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my left leg. Don't start yet. Manage my sides. Okay, ma'am, my left foot is raised. My foot is parallel with the ground, head of my sides, and you, once your foot is raised, you look down at your foot. Count like this, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and just keep on counting until I tell you to stop counting. Throughout this test, keep your hands directly at your sides, look down at the foot that is raised, and count out loud so I can hear you. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. You don't think so? Is there something I need to clear up for you? No. Are you sure? So that means you fully understand. Okay, you, you can start when you want, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. Come over with me. Watch out, watch out for the gas. Sit right here, put one hand here. Turn, other way, other way, right there. Put your left hand on, right here, left hand on this light. Right hand on that light. Face my car, put both hands behind your back. There you go, keep them there, okay? Your baby's one year old. Is that the dad in the car? Where? Your passenger. No. Okay, well, that poses something else now. Who's, is your mom here in town? Can I call her dad? Sure, hang tight. Can I have my phone? Well, yeah, we'll take your phone. Listen to me, right now I'm about to tell you something very important. Yes. You are under arrest. Okay. For driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The Domestic and Pike Consent Act required you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. If you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who's employed by the hospital, or a physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is us, the New State Police. Do you agree to take our test? At which time I'm, I'm asking you for a breath test. Okay. Ma'am, I can't force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your metro driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court for driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence if you have refused to be tested. Furthermore, you will be charged with aggravated DWI. That's the way the law works here in the state of Mexico. With that in mind, do you want to submit to a breath test? No. Okay, open, open your mouth. Call her father? It's okay, we'll handle that. We, we probably call you after you open your mouth. Open your mouth, lift your tongue. Okay. It is now 12 11, okay? okay? Obviously, you get, you're wearing spandex or leggings or whatever, nothing on you. Okay, come back here. Can I call her dad? I'll call her dad for you. Wait. Your phone's up there. Can I call him? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll give him a call here in a minute. Wait, but he doesn't know. We have your phone. Let me. Have can a seat. I call him? Mm -hmm. Call who? Your, her dad. Yes. I, I said. 
You will call him with your phone. Okay. Yeah. Can we call Get him in? now? We'll call him. Can we call him now? We'll call him. Can we call him now? Let me, let me get your phone, okay? okay. And who? And who's the passenger? I don't know him. You don't know him? Can I call her dad? I'm asking you a question. But I'm asking you, can okay. I call her okay. dad? Okay, I'm asking, who, I'm asking you who the passenger is. I don't know is. him. You're just giving some random guy a ride? Okay. Come on, come on, talk to me real quick. Okay, so okay, so who are you to her? We honestly just met a couple hours ago. We're okay. just messing around with each other. She's, okay. She has a daughter. Yeah, I, I know. I was very well, sad. I, I could I could meet up with her auntie. I know her auntie. Mm. Well, what well, what you could do is you could call right for yourself. The car is going and the baby's going to be going. Okay. Alrighty. Do I call right for myself? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me call now. And you, and you have no and you have no idea who was in that white Corvette. I don't. Okay. Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her keys and lock up the car. You get the keys? Yeah. Well, what's gonna happen with the baby? We will, we we'll take care of the baby. We'll we'll call a family member or something. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can call her, right? Yeah. You you, you go ahead and go there. Can I call? I, I didn't say get out of the car, did I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is your seatbelt off? Why is your seatbelt off? It's there for your safety, okay? Leave it on. I told you that we'd call, right? Yes. Okay, I have no reason to lie to you, do I? No. Okay. But this is hurting me really bad. Okay, well, those aren't for comfort, okay? Okay. Just don't lay on them. What's your, what's your password? Can I call Karen? Babe's mom. Karen? Karen, babe's mom. Okay. Karen with a K, right? Yes. And... Can I, can I talk to her? Yeah, you can talk to her. Yes. I got pulled over, and they're taking me in for a DWI. I need you to come over here to the Maverick on, what is this, Candelaria? Comanche and Princeton. Comanche and Princeton to pick up the baby and my car. No, the car's gonna get towed. Oh, my baby. Okay. Right now. I'm on my, I'm on my way. Um, they will wait for me. How long will it take? My show. Yep. Oh wait. Okay. I will be there. Okay. Okay. Matthew and Princeton, can you send me the location? Yes, I'll drop my location. No. Can I not? No. Could you? How? Right here. I'll show you. Okay. Two presses. Okay. Okay. So I'll send it to you. Okay, thank okay. you, sir. I'm yes, ma'am. Okay, okay thank you. Look, this right here. The camera? No. Right here. Send. It's your location? My current location. Did I send my current location? Okay. Yep. That's it? Yep. Okay. Hang tight. Remember, keep, keep, your, keep your seatbelt on. sure if you understand your horrible choice tonight i do okay I, really do. I think it's funny how all of a sudden you want to worry about your baby it's not funny no no it's no no because i got into a fight earlier today yeah earlier today okay like literally an hour ago okay right here. and you still right here Okay, so you decided, you know, I think it'd be a good idea to put my baby in danger. My little one-year-old baby who has, who has no say. The intoxicated lady claims she needs to breastfeed the infant, which is clearly not a good decision. She is arrested and charged with DUI, DUI with a minor in the vehicle, driving with no headlights and failure to maintain traffic lane. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and watch out for our next episodes by subscribing to Sound of the Police. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the police.